Question 6. An 8 by 3 cm rectangle is placed on top of two 6 by 3 cm rectangles to make a shape shown in the diagram. Okay, so what we've got is we've got a 3 by 8 rectangle there, and on top of it we've got a 3 by 6 rectangle here and a 3 by 6 rectangle by there. Calculate the perimeter of the shape. So we know that perimeter means the distance around the outside edge. Before we start, we're going to put on all the missing lengths. So from here to here, it's going to be three centimetres. This length by here, well if that is all eight going down there, and we've got three here and three here, to make the eight we're going to need two by here. So that's two centimetres. Going along here, well that's three, so this part must be three. Okay, so now going back around, from here to here is 3. This part we've already worked out to be 2 centimetres, and this part is 3 centimetres. Okay, to calculate the perimeter then, I'm going to start from this corner. I always start from that corner, and I'm going to go around in a clockwise direction to make sure I don't miss anything. So 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3, plus 6, plus 3, plus 2, plus 3, plus 3. Okay, and I'm going to check I've got that right. 6, 3, 2, 3, 3, 6, 3, 2, 3, 3. Adding up then. 6 add 3 is 9, add 2 is 11, add 3 is 14, add 3 is 17, add 6 is 23, add 3 is 26, add 2 is 28, add 3 is 31, add another 3 is 34, 34 centimetres. And I strongly suggest that you always check this add-in twice. Okay, because they're easy marks and you don't want to make careless errors. Okay, calculate the area of the shape. Write down the units of your answer. Right, we're going to split it up into three shapes. So first of all, I'm going to work out area A. And area A is going to be this rectangle. And I'm going to shade it so that I know I've already worked it out. So there's area A, and that's going to be 3 times 6. Which is 18 centimetres squared. Next part then, is this piece by here. I'm going to shape this in a different way, so I'm going to use squiggles here. Okay, and this part's going to be area B, and it's going to be 2 by 3. So area B equals 3 times 2, 6 centimetres squared. Okay, final piece here. Okay, so I'm going to make this one different again, so I know that it's a different shape I'm doing. This is going to be area C, and this is going to be 6 by 3. So area C equals 6 times 3, which is also 18 centimetres squared. Adding them together, 8 add 6 add 8 is, well, 8 add 8 is 16, and 6 is 22. 1 add 1 add 2 is 4, so 42 centimetres squared. Don't forget, you need that centimetre squared because it says write down the unit of your answer. So that is going to be worth one mark in itself.